As courses are being revitalized, there are a number of learning objects that are being created. You can search the learning object repository and easily add these items to your course. These objects might be an entire module, images, links to web pages, or even banks of quiz questions. When you link to these objects in your course and they are updated, the content within your course can also be updated to the latest version. So what you're going to do is click on the course content tab on the nav bar. You're going to click on the name of the module in which you wish to add a content from the learning object repository. You're going to click new and you're going to choose add object from lore. The add object from lore window will appear. So at this point there are a number of options. You can type in some keywords to find an object and as you type in the keywords you'll get to see some choices and those choices will tell you how many items are connected to those uh, to that keyword. You could also click on the advanced search. This will open a new window that will allow you to refine your search with a number of criteria whether it's the type, whether it's right, writing, and or title. Go ahead and close that. You can also browse by category so you can choose by author, by publisher, by course, or by repository. So for example, if I choose repository and then I click on the link next to the name of the repository, this will show me all of the objects within that repository. For this particular tutorial, let's just use some keywords. I'm going to type in art, click on search. The next screen will provide you with your search results. Now there will be different icons next to each of these objects that represent the type of content. So for example, you'll see this is an image icon. This icon here is a document. So I scroll through, go to page two. You'll see this icon right here is a topic or a module or a lesson. Now on the search results page um, you have different ways of uh, sorting. So if you want to look at it by date descending and click apply this will then put the objects in the uh, descending order that they were added. So you can actually change it by relevancy, by title, whatever you wish to change and you click apply. You can also change the number of uh, results per page by clicking on the results per page drop down list, choosing a new result per page, and then it will automatically update. So that way you don't have to search multiple pages. You can just scroll through. Now when you click on the object's content menu that's next to it, you can actually preview that object. So if I click on this worksheet and click preview, you'll see that this will load up. Since I know that this icon is a document, it will load up and to the viewer so I can get a preview of what that document is. Now you should note that if you are looking for a lesson and you look to try to preview that lesson, you will most likely get this kind of error message. So you can't preview the lessons. So the best thing to do with the lessons is to add them to your course and if it isn't what you really want then you can then delete it. So I'm going to choose the radio button next to the particular object that I want to add to my course. I'm going to click next. You'll next, next have three choices. Dynamic link to the newest version which will create a link that always points to the newest version of the learning object. Lock link to this version, create a link to, that always points to the specified version of the learning object, or copy as content. This will create a copy of the learning object in content, and this method keeps the navigational structure of the object intact. It is best practice to choose the dynamic link to the latest version because if this object is ever updated in the learning object repository, it will automatically be updated in your course. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And then I'm going to click Create Topic. 
It will go through a process of adding it to your course and now it is added to your course and now you can use that. And if I want to look at it, I just click on it and the object will load in this particular case. This is just a little brief history of art, but it can be anything that you want and you can then have this as part of your course, even though it is also part of a standard course.